Hello, welcome everyone. My name is Nadine and this is an original 90-minute Bikram Yoga class based on the original dialogue. If you've never practiced Bikram Yoga before, listen very carefully, take it easy, make sure you take a break. If you're practicing from home, make sure you get it nice and hot, you drink plenty of water before and after the class and you do the best you can. If you want to join me in live classes online, you find all the info in the description below. Please leave me a like and enjoy the class. Good morning, everyone. First is a breathing exercise, pranayama breathing, deep breathing, good for your lungs and your respiratory system. Please listen carefully. Inhale by the nose, exhale by the mouth. Inhale and exhale should be through the throat. Breathe as much as possible, as long as possible and as slow as possible. Breathe in by the nose and out by the mouth, but all the time through the throat. Nose and mouth are only passageway. Toes on the line, please. Feet together nicely. Toes and heels touching each other. All ten fingers interlocked nicely under the chin, full grip. Always your hands touching the chin like glue. Nice and relaxed shoulders. Swallow a couple of times. Look in the mirror. Concentrate. Meditate. Inhale, head down. Arms up. Start, please. Full lungs. Exhale, head up. Push your head back. Way, way, way back. Bring your elbows forward. Elbows touching each other away from your chest. Eyes open. Inhale, head down. Look in the mirror. Elbows up to the ceiling as far as possible. Chest up, spine straight. Stomach in. Full lungs. Exhale, head up. Very slowly. Push your hands on the chin. Eyes open. Look all the way back until you see the wall behind you. Elbows together, touching each other. Wait for me, please. Inhale, head down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Ex exhale, head up. Slowly push your head back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Inhale, head down. Very slowly. Use your throat. Suck your stomach in. Rib cage visible in the mirror. Look in the mirror. Head down, elbows up, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head back. Now, hips a little bit forward. Hip muscles, contraction, tightening up. Eyes open, elbows together. Please don't close your eyes. Wait for me. Inhale, head down. Each time, especially towards the end, try to inhale a little bit more than last time. More and more and more. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head back until your neck hurts a little bit. Grip tight, 10 fingers, including the thumbs, interlock position. Inhale, head down. Look in the mirror, stomach in. Depression of the abdominal wall, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eyes open. Inhale, head down. Don't close your eyes. You might feel dizzy. Stomach in. Open your ribcage. Open your lungs. Full lungs. Exhale. Head up. Take your time. The slower you do, the better. Elbows forward, away from your chest, as far as it goes. Again, inhale. Head down. Use your throat when you're inhaling. All the way up. Full lungs until you feel dizzy. Exhale. Head up. Slowly push your head back. Way, way, way back. Elbows forward, elbows touching each other. Inhale, head down. Stomach, stomach, stomach. Depression of abdominal wall. Contraction of the abdominal muscles. Suck it in, tighten it up, hold it in. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head back. Exhale all the air out, all the way out. The more you exhale, the more fresh oxygen you can inhale next time. Inhale, head down. Stomach in, chest up. Open your ribcage, open your lungs. Full lungs until you feel dizzy. Exhale, head up. Push your head back, hips forward, hip muscles tight, spine straight, 10 fingers grip tight, elbows together. And that's enough. Arms down side, stand still, shoulders relaxed, look in the mirror, don't move. Second set. Feet together nicely, please. Again, hands touching the chin. Swallow a couple of times. Ready? Everybody together, please. Start, inhale. Arms and head movement, synchronizing, should be exactly together in six seconds. Exhale, head up. Push your head back. Grip tight. Cross your thumbs. Ten fingers interlocked, including your thumbs. Look back, look back, look back. Elbows touching each other, away from your chest. Inhale, head down. Very slowly. 
not so quick. Take six seconds to bring your head down. The slower you do, the better. You're using your lungs more. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head back. Hips a little bit forward towards the mirror. Hip muscles, solid, concrete, one piece. Inhale, head down, go slowly. Look forward in the front mirror. Only the head and the arms moving together. Synchronized movement, six counts. Exhale, head up, push your chin back. No backward bending, only the arms and the head move. Look back, eyes open. Inhale, chin down. Open up your chest and ribcage, stretching the intercostal muscles of the ribs, expanding your lungs to their maximum expansion capacity. Exhale, head up. Don't let the knuckles go away from the chin. Grip tight, shoulders completely relaxed, deltoids forward with scapular shoulder blades. Inhale, chin down, elbows up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Exhale, head up. Push your chin back, slowly look all the way back. Keep your eyes open, spine straight, elbows touch. Inhale, chin down. Each time you inhale, try to inhale a little bit more than the last one, more and more and more. Exhale, head up, push your chin back, all the way back. Your neck might hurt a little bit, that's okay. Elbows forward, elbows touch. Inhale, chin down. The more your lungs are opening, you hold more air in the lungs, improving the elasticity of the lungs. Exhale, head up. Don't let the knuckles go away from the chin. Grip tight. Look back, eyes open, elbows touch. Inhale, chin down. Couple of more in the second set. Warming up the body from the inside for the next 90 minutes, full lungs. Exhale, head back. Push your chin back all the way back, eyes open, spine straight, elbows touch. Inhale for one, two, three, four, five, six, hold it. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back. One, two, three, four, five, six, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, look in the mirror, stomach in, depression of the abdominal wall, full lungs. Exhale, head up, Slowly push your head back, eyes open. Take your time, the slower you do is better. Inhale, chin down, head down. Use your throat when you're inhaling, all the way up, full lungs until you feel dizzy. Exhale, head up, slowly push your head back, way, way, way back, elbows forward, elbows touching each other. Inhale, head down. Stomach, stomach, stomach. Depression of the abdominal wall, contraction of the abdominal muscle. Suck it in, tighten it up, hold it in. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head back. Exhale all the air out, all the way out. The more you exhale, the more fresh oxygen you can inhale next time. Inhale, head down. Stomach in, chest up. Open your ribcage, open your lungs, full lungs until you feel dizzy. Exhale, head up. Push your head back, hips forward, hip muscles tight, spine straight, 10 fingers grip tight, elbows together. And that's enough. Arms down by your side. Stand still, look forward in the mirror, relax. Half moon pose with hands to feet pose. Adra Chandasana with Parastasana. Everybody together, feet together at the line, heels and toes touching each other. Arms over your head sideways, palms together. Interlock the fingers, release the index fingers, thumbs crossed. Keep a nice tight grip, don't lose the grip. Hands, palms touching each other like glue, up to the wrist throughout the entire posture. Stretch up to the ceiling, right and left, several times. Right and left, right and left. You should feel stretching down both sides of the body, all the way up to the fingertips. In other words, you're trying to touch the ceiling. When you can't stretch anymore, please stop in the middle. Elbows locked, arms always touching with the ears. No gap between biceps, arms and ears. Push your hips forward a little bit toward the mirror, opening up your hips and pelvis. Upper body back, leaning a couple of inches, opening your chest and ribcage. Throughout the posture, maximum body weight on your heels. Arms and head back, chin up. Concentrate one point in the mirror. Don't even blink your eyes. Inhale, breathing, full lungs, hold the breathing. Stretch up out of your waist one more time. Try to touch the ceiling. Absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right without bending your elbows or your knees. Continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling in the left side of your body. 
all over, inside out, from bones to the skin, fingertips to the toes. Hips more forward, upper body back more, weight in the heels. Push your left hip forward to keep both hips in one line. Right shoulder forward, opening your chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down and push and push and push. Inhale, breathing, come up and stop in the middle. Left side. Take a deep breath in, full lung stretch up one more time. Try to touch the ceiling and bend your body to the left without bending your elbows or your knees. Continuously push your hips to the right beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the right side of your body. All over, inside out, from bones to skin, fingertips to toes. Hips more forward, upper body back more, weight in the heels. Push your right hip forward to keep both hips in one line. Left shoulder forward, opening your chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down and push and push and push. Inhale, breathing, come up and stop in the middle. Backward bending, everybody together. Your back is going to hurt, don't be scared. Take a deep breath, full lungs, drop your head back as far as it goes. Look at the floor behind you. Arms back immediately. Try to touch the wall behind you. Bend your total spine backwards from coccyx to the neck. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Total spine backward bending. Push your upper body back. Try to fall down backwards. Maximum body weight on the heels. Inhale, stomach, legs, hips, everything. Push forward towards the mirror. Arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Inhale, come up and stop in the middle. Next is Parastasana, hands to feet pose. Bend your knees, put your hands on the floor in front of you. Move your hips several times, right and left, right and left, to make sure your lower back is totally relaxed, nice and loose, comfortable, easy, flexible. This is a U-turn from back bend to forward bending, so please be careful, your spine is not warmed up yet. Grab your heels from behind, underneath the heels, stepping in all five fingers of each hand. Little baby fingers touching each other side by side. Elbows behind the legs on the calf muscles. Throughout the posture, please don't lose the grip. Pull your heels as much as possible. Stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Touch your stomach on the thighs, chest on the knees, face on your legs below your knees. From the side, you should look like a Japanese ham sandwich. No gap anywhere. Slowly push your knees back as hard as possible. Try to lock your knees. Creating a tremendous stretching feeling, pain sensation, all over, underneath your legs, inside out, from bones to the skin, coccyx to the toes, with your smiling, happy face. Continuously keep pulling. Pulling is the object of stretching. Pull your heels, push your knees back, and lock your knees. Exhale breathing, and lock your knees. Roll forward, lock your knees. Eyes open, touch your face, and lock your knees. Last chance, lock your knees, lock your knees, lock your knees. Inhale breathing, come up, arms and head together. Second set, half moon pose. Arms up over your head sideways, palms together. Interlock the fingers, release the index fingers, thumbs crossed. Keep a nice tight grip, don't lose the grip. Hands, palms touching each other like glue, up to the wrists throughout the entire posture. Elbows locked, arms always touching with the ears. No gap between biceps, arms and ears. Push your hips forward a little bit toward the mirror, opening up your hips and pelvis. Upper body back, leaning a couple of inches, opening your chest and ribcage. Throughout the posture, maximum body weight on your heels. Arms and head back, chin up. Concentrate one point in the mirror. Don't even blink your eyes. Inhale, breathing, full lungs, hold the breathing. Stretch up out of your waist one more time. Try to touch the ceiling. Absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right without bending your elbows or your knees. Continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling in the left side of your body. All over, inside out, from bones to the skin, fingertips to the toes. Hips more forward, upper body back more, weight in the heels. Push your left hip forward to keep both hips in one line. Right shoulder forward, opening your chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down and push and push and push. Inhale, breathing, come up and stop in the middle. Left side. Take a deep breath in, full lungs stretch up one more time, try to touch the ceiling and bend your body to the left without bending your elbows or your knees. Continuously push your hips to the right beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the right side of your body. All over, inside out, from bones to skin, fingertips to toes. Hips more forward, upper body back more, weight in the heels. Push your right hip forward to keep both hips in one line. Left shoulder forward, opening your chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down and push and push and push. Inhale, breathing, come up and stop in the middle. Backward bending, second set, everybody together. 
Take a deep breath, full lungs, drop your head back as far as it goes. Look at the floor behind you. Arms back immediately. Try to touch the wall behind you. Bend your spine backwards from coccyx to the neck. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Total spine is backward bending. Push your upper body back. Try to fall down backwards. Maximum body weight on the heels. Inhale, stomach, legs, hips, everything. Push forward towards the mirror. Arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back. Inhale, come up and stop in the middle. Parastasana, hands to feet pose, second set. Grab your heels from behind, underneath the heels, all five fingers together. That means thumbs with your index fingers. Little baby fingers touching each other side by side. Elbows behind the legs on the calf muscles throughout the posture. Please don't lose the grip. Pull your heels as much as possible. Stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Touch your stomach on the thighs, chest on the knees, face on the legs below the knees. From the side, you should look like a Japanese ham sandwich. No gap anywhere. Slowly push your knees back as hard as possible. Try to lock your knees. Create a tremendous stretching feeling, pain sensation, all over, underneath your legs, inside out, from bones to the skin, coccyx to the toes, with your smiling, happy face. Continuously keep pulling. Pulling is the object of stretching. Without interruption, without intermission. Your goal is to touch the top of your head to your feet, creating 360 degree angle stretching from coccyx to the toes, coccyx to the forehead. Pull your heels, push your knees back and lock your knees. Exhale, breathing and lock your knees. Roll forward, lock your knees. Eyes open, touch your face and lock your knees. Last chance, lock your knees, lock your knees and lock your knees. Inhale, breathing, come up, arms and head together. Arms down, stand still, breathe. Awkward pose, Utkatasana. Right foot step to the right, six inches apart, heels invisible behind the toes. Look like a perfect H. Six inches gap between the toes and heels. Don't change your feet throughout the entire posture. Arms are parallel to the floor. Keep your five fingers together, touching each other. Elbows locked, tricep muscles nice and tight contraction. Nothing loose, nothing hanging. Stretch your arms forward towards the mirror. You're trying to touch the mirror. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in, hold it in. Sit down, feet flat position until your hips touch the chair. Spine straight to begin with, 100% body weight on the heels. Lift your chest up and bend your total spine backward, bending, bringing your upper body back. Suck your stomach in, compression of the abdominal wall, contraction of the abdominal muscle. Suck it in, tighten it up, hold it in. Rib cage visible in the mirror. Open your knees, six inches between your toes, heels, knees and hands. Chest up, chin up, lean back, fall back, way back. You're trying to fall down backwards. Inhale, breathing and come up. Keep your arms there. Second part. Concentrate and meditate. Stand up on your toes, maximum, like a ballerina. Tremendous concentration, focus one point in the mirror. If you blink your eyes, you might lose the balance. Stretch your spine, chest, head, hold up a body up towards the ceiling like natural human traction. Imagine I'm pulling your hair towards the ceiling. Sit down, on the top of the toes, spine straight position. Start to finish, throughout the posture, you should feel your hips and head touching the wall. Sit down halfway, until your hips touch the chair. Knees up, chest up, upper body leaning back, spine straight. Come up high on the toes, knees up towards the ceiling. Hips should not go down below the chair, you're sitting on the chair. Inhale, breathing and come up. Spine straight position, keep your arms there. Third part, come up a little bit on your toes. Bring your knees together. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in, spine straight, sit down. As slow as possible, at least 10 counts. All the way down, all the way down, leaning against the wall. Continuously stretch your spine towards the ceiling. Half inch gap between the hips and heels. You're leaning against the wall, hips and head touching the wall. No gap anywhere. Keep your knees together and forward towards the mirror. Thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to the legs, spine perfectly straight. 90 degree angle, so from the side your body looks like a box. Take a deep breath, knees together, spine straight, slowly come up. Feet together, arms down side and relax, don't move. Awkward pose, second set. Right foot step to the right, six inches apart, heels invisible behind the toes. Look like a perfect H. Six inches gap between the toes and heels. Don't change your feet throughout the entire posture. Arms are parallel to the floor. Keep your five fingers together, touching each other. Elbows locked, tricep muscles nice and tight contraction. 
Nothing loose, nothing hanging. Stretch your arms forward towards the mirror. You're trying to touch the mirror. Exhale, breathing. Suck your stomach in. Hold it in. Sit down. Feet flat position until your hips touch the chair. Spine straight to begin with. 100% body weight on the heels. Lift your chest up and bend your total spine backward, bending. Bringing your upper body back. Suck your stomach in. Compression of the abdominal wall. Contraction of the abdominal muscle. Suck it in. Tighten it up. Hold it in. Rib cage visible in the mirror. Open your knees, six inches between your toes, heels, knees, and hands. Chest up, chin up, lean back, fall back, way back. You're trying to fall down backwards. Inhale, breathing, and come up. Keep your arms there. Second part. Concentrate and meditate. Stand up on your toes maximum, like a ballerina. Tremendous concentration. Focus one point in the mirror. If you blink your eyes, you might lose the balance. Stretch your spine, chest, head, whole upper body up towards the ceiling like natural human traction. Imagine I'm pulling your hair towards the ceiling. Sit down. On top of the toes, spine straight position. Start to finish throughout the posture. You should feel your hips and head touching the wall. Sit down halfway until your hips touch the chair. Knees up, chest up, upper body leaning back, spine straight. Come up high on the toes, knees up towards the ceiling. Hips should not go down below the chair. You're sitting on the chair. Inhale, breathing and come up. Spine straight position, keep your arms there. Third part, come up a little bit on your toes. Bring your knees together. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in, spine straight, sit down. As slow as possible, at least 10 counts. All the way down, all the way down, leaning against the wall. Towards the end, slow down like an elevator. Last six inches, another 10 seconds. Continuously stretch your spine towards the ceiling. Half inch gap between the hips and heels. You're leaning against the wall, Hips and head touching the wall. No gap anywhere. Keep your knees together and forward towards the mirror. Thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to the legs, spine perfectly straight. 90 degree angle, so from the side your body looks like a box. Bounce like a motorcycle ride to make sure you have control. Bounce and bounce and bounce. Stop, hold it, take a deep breath, knees together, spine straight. Slowly come up, feet together. Arms down side and relax. Don't move. Eagle pose, Garurasana. Feet together nicely, toes on the line. Look at your arms and identify which is right, which is left. Don't mix them up. Arms over your head sideways. Bring your right arm under your left arm. Cross your arms each other and twist like ropes. Bring your hands in front of your face. Hands palms together. Thumbs towards your face, little fingers towards the mirror. If you're unable to bring your hands, palms together, interlace your fingers. Pull your elbows down towards the floor until your fingertips go down below your nose. Fingertips should not go higher than your nose. Suck your stomach in, sit down until your hips touch the chair, upper body leaning back, stay down there. Lift your right leg up and bring it over your left leg as high as possible. Twist your legs like ropes and put your right foot underneath your left calf muscle. All five toes should be visible in the front mirror. Sit down more and twist like ropes. Arch your upper body back. No gap anywhere between ankle and calf muscle. Bring your knees to the right, upper body to the left to get your feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line in the mirror. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing the balance, upper body lean back. Sack your stomach in, sit down more, pull your elbows down more, upper body back at the end. Change other side. Swing your arms up over your head and left arm under the right arm. Cross your elbows, twist like ropes. Bring your hands in front of your face. Hands palms together, thumbs towards your face, little fingers towards the mirror. Pull your elbows down towards the floor until your fingertips go below your nose. Suck your stomach in, sit down until your hips touch the chair, upper body leaning back, stay down there. Lift your left leg up and bring it over the right leg as high as possible. Twist your legs like ropes and put your left foot underneath your right calf muscle. All five toes should be visible in the front mirror. Sit down more and twist like ropes. Arch your upper body back. No gap anywhere between ankle and calf muscle. Bring your knees to the left, upper body to the right to get your feet, knees, elbows, hands, everything in one line in the mirror. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing the balance, upper body lean back more. Suck your stomach in, sit down more, pull your elbows down more, upper body back at the end. Change. Immediately second set. Arms over your head. 
Bring your right arm under your left arm. Cross your arms each other and twist like ropes. Bring your hands in front of your face, hands palms together, thumbs towards your face, little fingers towards the mirror. Pull your elbows down towards the floor until your fingertips go below your nose. Fingertips should not go higher than your nose. Suck your thumb again, sit down until your hips touch the chair. Upper body leaning back, stay down there. Lift your right leg up and bring it over your left leg as high as possible. The higher you get your leg on the thigh, you can create more room between your legs so you can twist better. You're opening the 14 largest joints in the human skeleton. Deltoid, scapular, elbows, wrists, hips, knees and ankles. Seven on each side. Sit down more, pull your elbows down more, upper body back at the end. Arms up over your head. Left side, swing your left arm. Under the right arm, high swing. Cross your elbows, cross your wrists. Upper body back. Sit down until your hips touch the chair. Upper body leaning back, stay down there. Lift your left leg up as high as possible. Over your right leg. Twist your legs like ropes and put your left foot underneath your right calf muscle. All five toes should be visible in the front mirror. Slide your foot down towards the ankle to get rid of the gap between the ankle and calf between the knees. Bring your knees to the right, upper body to the left. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing the balance, upper body back more. Suck your stomach in, sit down more. Pull your elbows down more, upper body back at the end. Change. Party time. Now you can have a quick sip of water. From now on, you can drink whenever you like. But please don't drink when others are in the postures. I would recommend you to hydrate before and after the class and drink as little as possible during the class. Next is a balancing series. Standing head to knee pose, Dhananayama, Janu Sharasana. Feet together nicely at the line. Wipe your hands. Shift your weight to your left leg. Interlock your 10 fingers and grab the right foot in front of you. Three inches below the toes. Hold it, nice and tight grip. Please don't lose the grip. Look in the mirror. From start to finish, concentrate one point on your left knee in the mirror to make sure the knee is absolutely locked to begin with. You don't have the knee. Your left leg should be solid, concrete, one piece, lamppost, unbroken. No knee. Inhale breathing, slowly, gently, right leg lift up and stretch forward towards the mirror until the leg is exactly parallel to the floor. Not higher, not lower. Left knee locked. Take a deep breath, continuously kick your right leg, heel forward towards the mirror. You can turn your right foot in from the ankle towards your face with all five toes turning in. If the standing leg is bending, the posture has not started yet. Kick your heel out, turn your toes in. Try to get both knees locked. So from the side, your legs should look like a perfect upside down L like Linda. If both knees are locked, and you can still balance there comfortably, then only you can bend your elbows down towards the floor until your elbows are touching the calf muscle. Eventually, your elbows should go down below the calf muscle. Change. Left leg. Pick up your left foot, same position. Please don't lose the grip. Focus one point on your right knee in the mirror. Don't change your eyes, don't blink your eyes. Think very deeply about your standing knee. Your right knee is locked, no knee. Distribute the weight all over the right foot, equally the same. Don't bring it to the side. Standing leg, thigh muscle, should be contraction nice and tight. Nothing loose, nothing hanging. Stomach in. Inhale slowly, gently, left leg lift up and stretch forward. Right knee locked. Deep breath, kick your left heel forward towards the mirror until your both knees lock. Continuously keep kicking without stopping, without intermission. Kick the heel out, turn the toes in. You have to learn how to flex your foot to stretch your Achilles tendon just above the heel. All the five toes towards your face, eventually beyond perpendicular. You should feel tremendous stretching underneath your legs, create cramp on the top of the thigh. If both knees are locked, no knee, your both legs look like a perfect upside down L, like Linda, then slowly start bending your elbows down towards the floor until your elbows touch the calf muscle. Elbows should go down below the calf muscle. Change. Do the back bend, one second. Second set. Before you even start, make up your mind not to give up. 
Use your English bulldog determination, willpower and Bengal tiger strengths. Mind over the matter. If you do 1% correct or 99% correct, both of you get 100% benefit. Medically, biochemically, physiologically, psychologically. As long as you are trying the right way and you don't give up, that's the ultimate destination. As long as your standing knee is locked, you're getting 100% benefit. Feet together nicely at the line. Wipe your hands. Shift your weight to your left leg. Interlock your 10 fingers and grab the right foot in front of you. Three inches below the toes. Hold it. Nice and tight grip. Please don't lose the grip. Look in the mirror. From start to finish, concentrate one point on your left knee in the mirror to make sure the knee is absolutely locked to begin with. You don't have the knee. Your left leg should be solid, concrete, one piece, lamppost, unbroken. No knee. Inhale, breathing, slowly, gently, right leg lift up and stretch forward towards the mirror until the leg is exactly parallel to the floor, not higher, not lower. Left knee locked. Take a deep breath, continuously kick your right leg, heel forward towards the mirror. You can turn your right foot in from the ankle towards your face with all five toes turning in. If the standing leg is bending, the posture has not started yet. Kick your heel out, turn your toes in. Try to get both knees locked. So from the side, your legs should look like a perfect upside down L like Linda. If both knees are locked and you can still balance there comfortably, then only you can bend your elbows down towards the floor until your elbows are touching the calf muscle. Still, if you can balance there with both knees locked, with your smiling happy face, slowly bring your body down, chest down, head down. Touch your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, touch your forehead to your knee. Head up, arm straight and right leg down. Left leg. Pick up your left foot, same position. Please don't lose the grip. Focus one point on your right knee in the mirror. Don't change your eyes, don't blink your eyes. Think very deeply about your standing knee. Your right knee is locked, no knee. Distribute the weight all over the right foot, equally the same. Nothing loose, nothing hanging. Stomach in. Inhale slowly, gently, left leg lift up and stretch forward. Right knee locked. Deep breath, kick your left heel forward towards the mirror until your both knees lock. Continuously keep kicking without stopping, without intermission. All the five toes towards your face, eventually beyond perpendicular. You should feel tremendous stretching underneath your legs, create cramp on the top of the thigh. If both knees are locked, no knee, your both legs look like a perfect upside down L, like Linda, then slowly start bending your elbows down towards the floor until your elbows touch the calf muscle. Elbows should go down below the calf muscle. Slowly bring your body down, chest down, head down. Touch your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, touch your forehead to your knee. Head up, arms straight, left leg down. Standing bow, pulling pose. Dandanayama, Danu, Shavasana. Bring your right hand out, palm facing up. Elbow touching the body. Say, Mama, give me money. You're holding the money in your hand. Bring your hand out to the right. Don't turn your hand, don't drop the money. Grab your right foot behind you, palm facing up. Hold from the inside at the ankle, five fingers together. Nice and tight grip. Don't lose the grip. Left arm up in front of you, chin close to your shoulder. Concentrate one point on your left knee in the mirror. Left leg is locked throughout the posture. Bring your knees together to start. Inhale, breathing. Charge your body forward towards the mirror. Try to touch the mirror. Simultaneously. Kick your right leg back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine until your abdomen and chest are parallel to the floor. Continuously keep kicking your right leg up as hard as possible. Your foot should be coming up over the top of your head in the mirror. Both feet in one line from the side. Kick back so your right shoulder is behind your left shoulder, invisible in the front mirror. Stretch your left fingertips towards the mirror, trying to touch the mirror. Try to touch your shoulder to your chin. Shoulder blade scapula coming out of the body. In other words, your two shoulders should be in one line. Kicking and stretching should be equal and simultaneous, 50-50. If you lose the balance, you're not kicking hard enough. Body down more, 
Stretch forward more, try to touch the mirror. Kick back more, kick harder. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. Body down, kick up one more time. Change, come up. Other side. Bring your left hand out, palm facing up, elbows touching the body. Grab your left foot from behind, palm facing up. Hold from the inside at the ankle, five fingers together. Nice and tight grip, don't lose the grip. Right arm up in front of you, chin close to the shoulder. Inhale, breathing, charge your body forward towards the mirror. Try and touch the mirror. Simultaneously kick your left leg back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine until your abdomen and chest are parallel to the floor. Continuously keep kicking your left leg up as hard as possible. Your foot should be coming up over the top of your head in the mirror. Both feet should be one line from the side. Kick back so your left shoulder is behind your right shoulder, invisible in the front mirror. Stretch your right fingertips towards the mirror, trying to touch the mirror. Try to touch your shoulder to your chin. Shoulder blade scapula coming out of the body. In other words, your two shoulders should be in one line. Kicking and stretching should be equal and simultaneous, 50-50. If you lose the balance, you're not kicking hard enough. Body down more, stretch forward more, try and touch the mirror. Kick back more, kick harder. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. Body down, kick up one more time. Change, kick to come out. Arms down by your side. Stand still, just breathe. Second set. Bring your right hand out, palm facing up, elbow touching the body. Bring your hand out to the right, don't turn your hand, don't drop the money. Grab your right foot behind you, palm facing up. Left arm up in front of you, chin close to your shoulder. Left leg is locked throughout the posture, bring your knees together to start. Inhale, breathing, charge your body forward towards the mirror. Try to touch the mirror simultaneously. Kick your right leg back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine until your abdomen and chest are parallel to the floor. Continuously keep kicking your right leg up as hard as possible. Your foot should be coming up over the top of your head in the mirror. Both feet in one line from the side. Kick back so your right shoulder is behind your left shoulder, invisible in the front mirror. Stretch your left fingertips towards the mirror, trying to touch the mirror. Try to touch your shoulder to your chin. Shoulder blade scapula coming out of the body. Body down more, stretch forward more, try to touch the mirror. Kick back more, kick harder. The harder you kick, you can balance forever. Body down, kick up one more time. Change, come up. Other side. Bring your left hand out, palm facing up, elbows touching the body. Grab your left foot from behind, palm facing up. Right arm up in front of you, chin close to the shoulder. Concentrate one point on your right knee in the mirror. Inhale, breathing, charge your body forward towards the mirror. Try and touch the mirror. Simultaneously kick your left leg back and up towards the ceiling. Bring your body down from the lower spine until your abdomen and chest are parallel to the floor. Continuously keep kicking your left leg up as hard as possible. Your foot should be coming up over the top of your head in the mirror. Both feet should be one line from the side. Kick back so your left shoulder is behind your right shoulder, invisible in the front mirror. Stretch your right fingertips towards the mirror, trying to touch the mirror. Try to touch your shoulder to your chin. Shoulder blade scapula coming out of the body. In other words, your two shoulders should be in one line. Kicking and stretching should be equal and simultaneous, 50-50. If you lose the balance, you're not kicking hard enough. Body down more, stretch forward more, try and touch the mirror. Change, kick to come out, arms down by your side. Stand still, just breathe. Balancing stick pose, to Larandasana. This posture is only 10 seconds. So the moment you hear my clap, you step forward. You have to make up your mind to use 100% strength in half a second. If you're late, it's over. Feet together nicely at the line. Toes and heels together. Arms over your head sideways, palms together. Interlock the fingers, release the index fingers, thumbs crossed. Stretch your arm up towards the ceiling like you're trying to touch the ceiling. To make sure your elbows are locked, arms always touching with your ears. Throughout the posture, no gap between your arms and head. Chin up, body back a couple of inches. Inhale, breathing, right leg step forward, big step. Lock both knees, arms and head together, come down. Arms, body, head, leg, everything. Parallel to the floor. From the side, your body looks like a T as in Tom. Not a broken umbrella. Charge your body forward like you're trying to touch the mirror. 
Get your left leg up, point the toes, knee locked. Continuously stretch your body forward, try to touch the mirror. Chin forward, focus one point on your right foot in the front mirror. Whole body stretching in opposite directions, like a natural human tug of war. Scapula coming out of the body. Shoulders are supposed to hurt. Body down, leg up, come down, leg up. Every muscle contracted. Get your leg up, point the toes, leg up, leg up, leg up. Chest down, leg up, come down, leg up, stretch forward more. Go and touch the mirror. Stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch, stretch, stretch. Inhale, breathing, come up. Arms and head together. Keep your arms over your head. Left side. Take a deep breath in, stretch up. Left leg step forward, big step. Lock both knees, arms and head together, come down until your whole body, arms, head, leg, everything is parallel to the floor. From the side, your body looks like a T as in top. Charge your body forward like you're trying to touch the mirror. Get your right leg up, point the toes, knee locked. Continuously stretch your body forward, try to touch the mirror. Chin forward, focus one point on your left foot in the front mirror. Whole body stretching in opposite directions like a natural human tug of war. Scapula coming out of your body. Shoulders are supposed to hurt. Go and touch the mirror. Stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch. Inhale, breathing, come up. Arms down by your side. Breathe in and out through your nose. Second set. Feet together nicely at the line. Toes and heels together. Arms over your head sideways, palms together. Interlock the fingers, release the index fingers, thumbs crossed. Stretch your arm up towards the ceiling like you're trying to touch the ceiling. Inhale, breathing, right leg step forward, big step. Lock both knees, arms and head together, come down. Arms, body, head, leg, everything. Parallel to the floor. From the side, your body looks like a T as in Tom, not a broken umbrella. Charge your body forward like you're trying to touch the mirror. Get your left leg up, point the toes, knee locked. Continuously stretch your body forward, try to touch the mirror. Chin forward, focus one point on your right foot in the front mirror. Every muscle contracted. Get your leg up, point the toes, leg up, leg up, leg up. Chest down, leg up, come down, leg up, stretch forward more. Go and touch the mirror. Stretch and stretch and stretch, stretch, stretch. Inhale, breathing, come up. Arms and head together. Keep your arms over your head. Left side. Take a deep breath in, stretch up. Left leg step forward, big step. Lock both knees, arms and head together, come down until your whole body, arms, head, leg, everything is parallel to the floor. From the side, your body looks like a T as in top. Charge your body forward like you're trying to touch the mirror. Get your leg up, point the toes, knee locked. Continuously stretch your body forward, try to touch the mirror. Inhale, breathing, come up. Arms down by your side, breathe in and out through your nose. Standing separate leg stretching pose. Dananayama, Pipaktapada, Paschimottanasana. Feet together nicely, arms over your head sideways. Right leg step to the right, four feet minimum. At the same time, arms down parallel to the floor. Heels in one line, feet slightly pigeon toed. Suck your stomach in and slowly bend your upper body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Keep your chin forward, looking in the mirror and your knees locked. Grab your heels from the outside. Five fingers together, thumbs touching with the index fingers. As a beginner, if you can't grab the heels yet, grab the outside of the feet. Pull your heels as hard as possible, stretching your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Make sure your knees are locked throughout the posture. Roll forward like a wheel, body weight on the toes. Try to touch your forehead to the floor. If you cannot touch your forehead to the floor, open your legs more and more and more. Chin up, look forward, roll forward, keep pulling. Eventually, your spine should be perfectly straight. From the coccyx to the neck, forehead touching the floor between the feet. First your leg stretching, then hip stretching. Then lower spine stretching, the whole spine stretching. Eventually the whole body is stretching, 360 degree angle, inside out, from bones to the skin, coccyx to the toes, coccyx to the forehead. Pull harder, keep pulling. Chin forward, roll forward. Touch your forehead to the floor. Inhale, breathing, slowly come up. Right leg back to the plate. Second set. If your forehead is easily touching the floor, bring your feet closer to each other. Only as much as you need to touch your forehead more in the center between the feet. Feet together nicely, arms over your head sideways. Right leg step to the right, four feet minimum. At the same time, arms down parallel to the floor. Heels in one line, feet slightly pigeon toed. Suck your stomach in and slowly bend your upper body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Keep your chin forward, looking in the mirror, and your knees locked. Grab your heels from the outside. Five fingers together, thumbs touching with the index fingers. 
Pull your heels as hard as possible, stretching your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Make sure your knees are locked throughout the posture. Roll forward like a wheel, body weight on the toes. Try to touch your forehead to the floor. If you cannot touch your forehead to the floor, open your legs more and more and more. Chin up, look forward, roll forward, keep pulling. Eventually, your spine should be perfectly straight. From the coccyx to the neck, forehead touching the floor between the feet. First your leg stretching, then hip stretching, then lower spine stretching, the whole spine is stretching. Eventually, the whole body is stretching, 360 degree angle, inside out, from bones to the skin, coccyx to the toes, coccyx to the forehead. Pull harder, keep pulling. Chin forward, roll forward. Touch your forehead to the floor. Inhale, breathing, slowly come up. Right leg back to the plate. Triangle pose, Trikanasana. Feet together on the line, please. Arms over your head sideways. Right leg step to the right, big step. Four feet minimum. Immediately, arms down parallel to the floor. Palms facing down. Look straight ahead in the mirror. Push hips forward, upper body leaning back. Turn your right foot out to the right, all the way. Turn it half inch more until the foot is parallel to the front mirror. Two heels in one line. Inhale, breathing, bend the right knee and sit down. Bounce a couple of times like a motorcycle ride to make sure you're sitting down low enough. Your right thigh bicep should be parallel to the floor. In the front mirror, your right leg should look like a perfect upside down L like Linda. Make sure your hips don't go up anymore. Stay down there. Again, hips forward, arms back, body back, lean back, open your chest, spine straight in the center. Inhale, breathing, move your arms at the same time. Right elbow in front of the right knee. Bring your right hand down and put your fingers between the big and second toe. Don't touch the floor. No pressure on the fingertips against the floor. Look up towards the ceiling. Touch your chin to the left shoulder. So the profile of your face is exactly visible in the mirror. Take a deep breath. Continuously stretch your left arm up towards the ceiling. You're trying to touch the ceiling. Right arm stretch down, left arm stretch up. In other words, both arms, shoulders, should be stretching each other up and down in two opposite directions, like a natural human traction. Push your left hip forward towards the mirror. At the same time, push your right knee back with the help of your right elbow. Touch the toes. Upper body turn or twist, back bend, like the spine twisting posture. Keep your left knee locked and left foot flat on the floor. Inhale, breathing, come up and stop in the middle. Right foot back to the center. Keep your arms there. Turn your left foot out to the left. Bend the knee and sit down. Bounce and bounce and bounce until you're sitting down enough. Left thigh bicep, femur bone parallel to the floor. Right hip down and forward more. Get your left knee back towards the back wall. Arms back, body back, lean back, freeze. Don't move your hips anymore. Keep your spine straight in the center. Both arms at the same time. Left arm down, palm facing the front mirror. Elbow in front of the knee. Right arm stretch up, touching the ceiling. Turn your head, look up, chin to the shoulder, face exactly profile in the front mirror. Push your right hip down and forward towards the mirror. Push your left knee back with the help of the left elbow. So both knees are in one line from the side. Elbow should not go down below the knee. Don't lean any weight on your left elbow against the knee. Touch the toes. Quick, right arm stretch up. You're going to touch the ceiling pretty soon. Body up more. There should be a gap, triangle, between your chest and the left thigh. Right arm up more. Both arms should be in one straight line in the front, also from the side mirror. Both arms, shoulders, scapula, deltoids, stretching up and down like a natural human tug of war. Hips down, body up. Turn or twist your upper body back, opening up your chest. This is a perfect marriage between the heart and lungs. Left arm stretch down, touch the toes. Right arm stretch up, stretch up, stretch up, stretch up. Touch the ceiling. Keep your right knee locked, right foot flat on the floor. Inhale, breathe in, come up. Arms over the head, right foot back to the place, and arms down, side. Every posture up to this point has been preparation to do the triangle posture. It is the only posture in the world where you use 100% of your body, every muscle, joint, organ, and major gland. Second set. Feet together on the line, please. Arms over your head sideways. Right leg step to the right, big step, four feet minimum. Immediately, arms down parallel to the floor, palms facing down. Look straight ahead in the mirror. Push hips forward, upper body leaning back. Turn your right foot out to the right, all the way. Turn it half inch more 
until the foot is parallel to the front mirror. Two heels in one line. Inhale, breathing, bend the right knee and sit down. Bounce a couple of times like a motorcycle ride. To make sure you're sitting down low enough, your right thigh bicep should be parallel to the floor. In the front mirror, your right leg should look like a perfect upside down L like Linda. Make sure your hips don't go up anymore. Stay down there. Inhale, breathing, move your arms at the same time. Right elbow in front of the right knee. Bring your right hand down and put your fingers between the big and second toe. Don't touch the floor. No pressure on the fingertips against the floor. Look up towards the ceiling. Touch your chin to the left shoulder. So the profile of your face is exactly visible in the mirror. Take a deep breath. Continuously stretch your left arm up towards the ceiling. You're trying to touch the ceiling. Push your left hip forward towards the mirror. At the same time, push your right knee back with the help of your right elbow. Touch the toes. Upper body turn or twist back bend like the spine twisting posture. Keep your left knee locked and left foot flat on the floor. Inhale breathing, come up and stop in the middle. Right foot back to the center. Keep your arms there. Turn your left foot out to the left. Bend the knee and sit down. Bounce and bounce and bounce until you're sitting down enough. Get your left knee back towards the back wall. Arms back, body back, lean back, freeze. Don't move your hips anymore. Keep your spine straight in the center. Both arms at the same time. Left arm down, palm facing the front mirror. Elbow in front of the knee. Right arm stretch up, touching the ceiling. Turn your head, look up, chin to the shoulder, face exactly profile in the front mirror. Push your right hip down and forward towards the mirror. Push your left knee back with the help of the left elbow. So both knees are in one line from the side. Elbow should not go down below the knee. Don't lean any weight on your left elbow against the knee. Touch the toes. Quick, right arm stretch up. You're going to touch the ceiling pretty soon. Body up more. There should be a gap, triangle, between your chest and the left thigh. Right arm up more. Both arms, shoulder, scapula, delta, stretching up and down like a natural human tackle wall. Hips down, body up. Turn or twist your upper body back, opening up your chest. This is a perfect marriage between the heart and lungs. Left arm stretch down, touch the toes. Right arm stretch up, stretch up, stretch up, stretch up. Touch the ceiling. Keep your right knee locked, right foot flat on the floor. Inhale, breathing, come up. Arms over the head, right foot back to the place and arms down, side. Next is standing separate leg, head to knee pose. Dandanayama, Vipaktapada, Jana Shurasana. Feet together nicely, arms over the head sideways. Hands palms together, thumbs crossed. Stretch your arms towards the ceiling, throw out the posture, elbows locked, so arms always touching with the ears. Right leg step to the right, a big step, three feet distance, 36 inches. Between the feet, turn to the right, 180 degree angle. Turn your hips one, two, three, four, five times beyond your flexibility to bring your hips exactly in one line from the side. Two heels in one line. Back side foot should be 45 degree angle. Exhale, breathing, and you go down. Arms and head together. Tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, touch your exact forehead on the knee. Forehead should touch the knee. If you don't touch your forehead, bend your right knee a little bit, but you have to touch your forehead to the knee. Stretch your hands forward beyond the toes. Keep your elbows straight. Push your hands against the floor to get your knee locked. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in, throat choked, eyes open, breathing, normal. Bring maximum weight on the front leg. So your right side hip is sticking up towards the ceiling to get your both hips in one line. Lock the knee very quickly, a couple of times. Inhale, breathing, very gently come up, arms and head together. Stop in the middle. Turn to the left, 185 degree angle. Turn your hips five times more. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in and you go down. Two hips in one line. Look at your stomach, tuck your chin to your chest, touch your exactly forehead on the knee. Stretch your hands forward beyond the toes, elbows locked, everybody. Push your hands against the floor to get your knee locked with your smiling happy face. More weight on the left leg. Everybody get your left hip up higher towards the ceiling, sticking up. Lock the knee very quickly, a couple of times. Exhale, breathing, stomach in. Full lungs inhale, come up, arms and head together, stop in the middle, arms down, right leg back to the place. This is not a stretching pose, it's a compression pose. It's a combination of rabbit pose, stomach in, back rounded, throat choked and balancing stick, arm stretching. 
good for eight things. Marriage between the pancreas and kidneys, thyroid and pituitary glands, extension of the oblongata and medulla, opening the throat and crown chakras, good for the digestive and endocrine systems, metabolism, body chemistry, immune system. Second set, please. Feet together nicely, arms over your head sideways, hands palms together, thumbs cross. Stretch your arms towards the ceiling throughout the posture, elbows locked, so arms always touching with your ears. Right leg step to right, big step. Turn to the right, 180 degree angle. Turn your hips, one, two, three, four, five times more beyond your flexibility to bring your hips exactly in one line from the side. Two heels on one line, backside foot 45 degrees. Exhale, breathing, and you go down. Arms and head together. Tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, touch your exactly forehead on the knee. Forehead should touch the knee. If you can touch your forehead, bend the knee a little bit, but you have to touch your forehead to the knee. Stretch your hands forward beyond your toes. Keep your elbows straight. Wrists straight, cross your thumbs. Push your hands against the floor to get your knee locked. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in, throat choked, eyes open, breathing, normal. Bring maximum weight on the front leg. So your right hip is sticking up towards the ceiling to get your both hips in one line. Lock the knee very quickly, couple of times. Inhale, breathing, very gently come up, arms and head together, stop in the middle. Turn to the left, 185 degree angle. Turn your hips five times more. Twist your hips with a backside foot. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in, and you go down. Two hips in one line. Front foot should be straight, back leg always locked, and your back foot should be 45 degree angle, heel flat on the floor. Exhale, breathing, and you go down. Arms and head together. Look at your stomach, tuck your chin to your chest, touch your exactly forehead on the knee. Stretch your hands forward beyond your toes. You can open your hands if you need to. Elbows locked, everybody. Push your hands against the floor to get your knee locked. If your forehead is not touching the knee, the posture hasn't even started yet. Push against the floor, more weight on the left leg. Everybody get your left hip up more towards the ceiling, sticking up. Lock the knee very quickly, a couple of times at the end. Full lungs, inhale. Come up, arms and head together, stop in the middle, arms down, right leg back to the place. Tree pose, Tadasana. Everybody go back to the line where you started, in one line. Feet together nicely, focus one spot in the mirror. Grab your right foot from underneath with your left hand. Right leg lifts all the way up until your heel is touching your costum. Sole of the foot is facing the ceiling. Be careful of your right knee. Slowly, gently, let your right knee come down. Push your hips forward towards the mirror and gently push your right knee back. Try to get your both knees in one line from the side to open your pelvis. Same principle like in triangle posture. Upper body back a couple of inches. Stretch your spine up towards the ceiling and suck your stomach in. Two hips in one line, two shoulders in one line. Bring your right hand up to the center of your chest. If you can balance there, bring your left hand up, palms together, namaskar. If your foot slips at all, continue to hold the foot with your left hand. Left leg locked, thigh contracted, spine straight, stomach in. Focus one point, eyes open, breathing normal. Stay there. Change. Right leg down, other side. Left leg, focus one spot in the mirror. Grab your left foot from underneath with your right hand. Left leg lift all the way up until your heel is touching your costume. Sole of the foot is facing the ceiling. Slowly, gently, let your left knee come down. Push your hips forward towards the mirror and gently push your left knee back. Try to get both knees in one line from the side to open your pelvis. Same principle, like in triangle posture. Upper body lean back a couple of inches. Stretch your spine up towards the ceiling and suck your stomach in. Two hips in one line, two shoulders in one line. Bring your left hand up in the center of your chest. If you can balance there, bring your right hand up. Palms together, namaskar. If your foot slips at all, continue to hold the foot with your right hand. Right leg locked, thigh contracted, spine straight, stomach in. Focus one point, eyes open, breathing normal, stay there. Change, left leg down. If you're a beginner, be very careful with your knees. Just bend forward and put your hands on the floor in front of you without bending your knee at first. After becoming proficient enough in the posture, you can bend the knee and go down. Till stand, Parangusasana. 
Feet together, focus one point on the floor, four feet in front of you. Don't move your eyes, don't blink your eyes. Bring your right foot up onto the middle of your thigh or wherever you feel comfortable. Hands palms together in front of your chest. Bend your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Touch your both hands, ten fingers on the floor. Slowly bend the knee, bring your hips down and sit down on your heel. Bring your hands to both sides on the floor. Stretch your spine up to the ceiling, hips up, balancing on your fingertips. Both knees should be in one line, parallel to the floor. Keep focusing one point on the floor, four feet in front of you. Slowly bring your left hand up in front of your chest. If you can still balance there without moving, then bring your right hand up, palms together, namaskar. Stretch your spine up to the ceiling like natural human traction. Suck your stomach in, balance there. Change. Come up exactly the opposite way you went down. Right leg down. Left leg. Focus one point on the floor. Don't move or blink your eyes. Bring your left leg up onto the middle of your thigh, wherever you feel comfortable. Hands palms together in front of your chest. Bend your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Touch both hands on the floor. Slowly bend the knee and bring your hips down. Sit on your heel. Bring your hands to both sides of the floor. Stretch your spine up to the ceiling, hips up, balancing on your fingertips. Think I'm pulling your hair towards the ceiling. This is a traction pose, good for your posture. Half inch gap between the hips and the heel. If you sit on your heel, you fall to the right or the left, like a flat tire. No collapsing, constant stretching. Slowly bring your left hand up. If you can still balance there without moving, right hand up, palms together. Stretch your spine up towards the ceiling like a natural human traction. Suck your stomach in, balance there, change. Come up exactly the opposite way you went down. Everybody together, left leg down. Thank yourself for the standing series. Turn around and lie down on your back, feet facing the back wall. Dead body pose, Shavasana. Relax completely, heels together, let your feet fall open, arms on the towel, Palms facing up, head straight, eyes always open and breathing always normal. Don't move. That was a warming up exercise. Now the class begins. Every exercise, physical activity in the world you do, you burn energy. Like driving a car burns gas. The tank is empty, you need to fill it up again. Hatha Yoga class is a gas station. It is the only place in the world where you gain energy instead of losing it. Practicing yoga, asanas, is the only natural physical activity in the world because it is scientific. With the help of science, we can explain nature. Wind removing pose, Pavanamukhtasana. Right leg lift up, hold the right leg exactly two inches below the knee. Interlocked fingers, nice and tight grip. Pull your right knee down all the way towards your right shoulder, completely avoiding the rib cage. Make sure your left leg is straight so the calf muscle is touching the floor. If the calf muscle is not touching, then flex the left foot. Chin down towards the chest to get your neck flat on the floor. No gap underneath. Bring your elbows close to the body, shoulders relaxed, touching the floor. Pull down harder, absolutely freeze there. You're massaging your ascending column. Eyes open, breathing normal. Freeze, don't move. You can't even blink your eyes. You have to pull a little extra hard, make sure your hip joint hurts. Maximum pressure in the lower abdomen. Change, arms and legs on the floor. Left leg up, 
Hold the left knee exactly two inches below the knee. Interlocked fingers, nice and tight grip. Pull the knee all the way towards your left shoulder. As a beginner, it is difficult to attach your knee to the shoulder, which is very normal. So bring your knee outside more towards the deltoid and pull more harder. Make sure your right leg is straight, calf muscle touching the floor, if not flex the foot. Chin down towards the chest, neck flat on the floor, no gap. Bring your elbows close to the body, shoulders relaxed, touching the floor. Pull harder, absolutely freeze there. Eyes open, breathing normal. Now you're massaging your descending column. Freeze, don't move. You can't even blink your eyes. Pull extra hard, make sure your hip joint hurts. Maximum pressure in the lower abdomen. Change. Arms and legs down. Immediately, both legs up. Grab the elbows each other over the legs a couple of inches below the knee, if possible. Nice and tight grip, compact. Feet together side by side, relaxed position. Chin down, neck flat on the floor. Shoulders relaxed, eyes open, and breathing normal. Freeze there, massaging your transverse column. Eventually, in the future, when you improve your skeletal system, the bone joints enough, then only your total spine is going to be flat on the floor. Change. Legs down, arms down. Second set. Right leg lift up. Hold the right leg exactly two inches below the knee. Interlocked fingers, nice and tight grip. Pull your right knee down all the way towards your right shoulder, completely avoiding the ribcage. Make sure your left leg is straight so the calf muscle is touching the floor. If the calf muscle is not touching, then flex the left foot. Chin down towards the chest to get your neck flat on the floor. No gap underneath. Bring your elbows close to the body, shoulders relaxed, touching the floor. Pull down harder, absolutely freeze there. You're massaging your ascending column. Eyes open, breathing normal. Freeze, don't move. You can't even blink your eyes. You have to pull a little extra hard, make sure your hip joint hurts. Maximum pressure in the lower abdomen. Change. Arms and legs on the floor. Left leg up. Hold the left knee exactly two inches below the knee. Interlocked fingers, nice and tight grip. Pull the knee all the way towards your left shoulder. Make sure your right leg is straight, calf muscle touching the floor. If not, flex the foot. Chin down towards the chest, neck flat on the floor, no gap. Bring your elbows close to the body. Shoulders relaxed, touching the floor. Pull harder, absolutely freeze there. Eyes open, breathing normal. Now you're massaging your descending column. Freeze, don't move. You can't even blink your eyes. Pull extra hard, make sure your hip joint hurts. Maximum pressure in the lower abdomen. Change. Arms and legs down. Immediately, both legs up. Grab the elbows each other over the legs a couple of inches below the knee, if possible. Nice and tight grip, compact. Feet together side by side, relaxed position. Chin down, neck flat on the floor. Shoulders relaxed, eyes open, and breathing normal. Freeze there, massaging your transverse column. Change, legs down, arms down. Next is our Bikram Yoga sit-up. If you have any back problems or you're pregnant, please just turn around on your belly. Otherwise, we can do the sit-up together. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, keep your heels on the floor. Arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms and head together. Inhale, breathing, quickly sit up. Exhale, breathing, grab your big toes, double jerk. Touch your forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around and lie on your stomach for the spine strengthening series. Cobra pose, Bhujangasana. Lie down on your stomach, chin on the floor. Get your hands under the shoulders, very close to your chest. Make sure throughout the posture, five fingers together, so your hands palms are flat on the floor. Fingertips in line with the tops of the shoulders, baby fingers in line with the deltoids. Glue it down. Distribute the body weight all over your hands palms equally the same. Please don't move your hands. Start to finish, keep your feet and heels together and feet flat on the floor. You have only one leg, like cobra, don't open it. Leg muscles nice and tight, hip muscles solid concrete one piece. Elbows touching the body, drop your shoulders down. Look up towards the ceiling. Inhale, breathing. Come up, please. Lift your upper body up using your 100% back strength. Come up halfway only until only your belly button is touching the floor. The rest of your upper body is in the air. At the same time, from the side, your elbows should be L, 90 degree angle, like a rectangle. 
Stretch your elbows down towards the hips, arms and elbows always touching with the body. To bring your shoulders down to PT's muscle visible in the front mirror. Now chest up more. Everybody, go up. Come up a couple of inches. Your back is supposed to hurt. Shoulders down, chest up, look up, come up, go up, more up, come up a little more. Hold it there, freeze and gently come down. Left ear on the towel, arms down by your side and relax. Second set. Get your hands under the shoulders, very close to your chest. Make sure throughout the posture, five fingers together, so your hands palms are flat on the floor. Square underneath the shoulders, not too high, not too low, not too far in, not too far out. Not turned in, not turned out. Keep your palms flat. Start to finish, keep your feet and heels together and feet flat on the floor. You have only one leg, like Cobra, don't open it. Leg muscles nice and tight, hip muscles solid, concrete, one piece. Elbows touching the body, drop your shoulders down. Look up towards the ceiling, inhale breathing, come up please. Lift your upper body up using your 100% back strength. Come up halfway only until only your belly button is touching the floor. The rest of your upper body is in the air. Now chest up more, everybody go up. Come up a couple of inches, your back is supposed to hurt. Shoulders down, chest up, look up, come up, go up, more up, come up a little more. Hold it there, freeze and gently come down. Left ear on the towel, arms down by your side and relax. Locust pose, Salabhasana. Lie on your stomach, arms straight position, get your arms underneath your body. Hands, palms facing the floor. Elbows completely underneath your stomach, invisible. Elbows are supposed to hurt. Fingers completely apart. Grab the floor with your fingertips. Two little baby fingers touching side by side. Chin on the floor. Left leg relaxed. Right leg solid, concrete one piece, pointed toes. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently. Right leg lift up from the floor. Minimum 45 degrees, half of 90. Go up. Much more high, everybody. Make sure your back hurts. Elbows hurt. Leg up more. Lift up more. A couple of inches. Lock the knee, pointed toes more up. And change. Slowly right leg down. And left leg up. Slowly, gently, lift the left leg up, 45 degrees, half of 90, much more higher. Make sure your back hurts, elbows are supposed to hurt. Leg up more, lift up more, a couple of inches, lock the knee, point the toes, more up, change. Turn your head in, mouse on the floor. Elbows closer together, underneath the body. Open your fingers, grab the floor with your fingertips. Full lungs, take a deep breath and without bending the knees, both legs lift up. L come up please, everybody go up, come up, everybody come up. Lock the knees, feet together, struggle a little harder, don't give up. Come up, take a deep breath, come up more, and slowly, both legs down, relax please. Arms down by your side, turn your head to the side. Second set, lie on your stomach, arms straight position, get your arms underneath your body. Hands, palms facing the floor. Elbows completely underneath your stomach, invisible. Elbows are supposed to hurt. Fingers completely apart. Grab the floor with your fingertips. Two little baby fingers touching side by side. Chin on the floor. Left leg relaxed. Right leg solid, concrete one piece, pointed toes. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently. Right leg lift up from the floor. Minimum 45 degrees, half of 90. Go up. Much more high, everybody. Make sure your back hurts. Elbows hurt. Leg up more. Lift up more. A couple of inches. Lock the knee, point the toes, more up, and change. Slowly, right leg down. And left leg up. Slowly, gently, lift the left leg up, 45 degrees, half of 90. Much more higher. Make sure your back hurts. Elbows are supposed to hurt. Leg up more, lift up more, a couple of inches. Lock the knee, point the toes, more up, change. Turn your head in, mouse on the floor. Hands more closer, each other. Two little pinkies should be touching each other side by side, completely underneath the body, invisible. Elbows are supposed to hurt. Do not lift or turn your head throughout the posture. Take a deep breath in and both legs lift up all the way. Come up, come up a little bit higher. Keep the leg exactly behind your head in the mirror. Make sure your hips don't twist out of line. Use your hand strength against the floor to get your legs up more. Your shoulders should be touching the floor. As a beginner, if you cannot lift both legs up, separate your legs and then lift them up. Then bring them together. Don't compromise the knees locked. And slowly both legs down. Relax, arms down by your side. Mm -hmm. 
Full locust pose, Pona Salabasana. Arms out to the side like airplane wings. Palms down and fingers together. Chin on the floor. Legs and feet together. Hip and leg muscles tight, solid, concrete, one piece. Knees locked, pointed toes. Make sure you only have one leg. Look up to the ceiling, take a deep breath. Arms, body, head, leg, everything lift up. 747 taking off. Go up, everybody, look up, chest up, arms up, arms back. Fingertips should be same level as head. Only hip bones touching the floor, rest of the body in the air. Chest up, chest up, look up, body up, chest up, come up, more up, go up. Exhale, breathing, come up, one more time. Slowly come down, relax, arms on the towel, turn your head sideways, completely relax. Second set. Remember you should reach the highest point at the end. Arms out to the side like airplane wings. Palms down and fingers together. Chin on the floor. Legs and feet together. Hip and leg muscles tight, solid, concrete, one piece. Knees locked, pointed toes. Make sure you only have one leg. Look up to the ceiling, take a deep breath. Arms, body, head, leg, everything lift up. 747 taking off. Go up, everybody look up, chest up, arms up, arms back. Fingertips should be same level as head. Only hip bones touching the floor, rest of the body in the air. Chest up, chest up, look up, body up, chest up, come up, more up, go up. Exhale, breathing, come up, one more time. Slowly come down, relax, arms on the towel, turn your head sideways, completely relax. Bow pose, Dhanurasana. Chin on the floor, hold your feet from the outside exactly two inches below the toes. Five fingers together, make sure thumbs touching with the index fingers. Please don't lose the grip. Six inches apart between the knees and the toes. Wrist straight, pointed toes. Arms and legs should like two wheels in one base. Take a deep breath in and gently both legs kick up towards the ceiling. Look up and kick up. Kick your legs back. Continuously keep kicking, don't stop kicking. Roll forward until your toes are in the center from the side. Kick back more, harder. Head up more, kick your legs behind you. Wrist straight more, keep your knees in, point your toes. Kick back more, kick harder, slowly lower down. And you relax, completely relax. Second set. Chin on the floor, hold your feet from the outside exactly two inches below the toes. Five fingers together, make sure thumbs touching with the index fingers, don't lose a grip. Six inches between the knees and toes, wrist straight, point to toes. Arms and legs look like two wheels in one base. Take a deep breath in and gently both legs kick up towards the ceiling, look up and kick up. Keep your knees in, toes out, pointed. To keep your heels, toes, knees, hands, everything six inches apart. Hold 80% in your lungs, 20% going out through the nose without a sound. 110% strength you've got to use to create 360 degree angle backward bending against the gravitation. Kick back, kick harder, slowly lower down, relax, look to the side. Fix firm pose, Supta Vajrasana. Come to the top of the towel, sit down Japanese style, knees together. Separate your feet and sit down between the heels. Hips touching the floor, heels touching the hips. Make sure heels are touching the hips the whole time. As a beginner, or if your knees or feet hurt, you can open your knees. Put your hands, palms on your toes, thumbs inside, fingers outside. Touch your right elbow down on the floor, then the left, one by one. Touch your head on the floor, then the back of your head. Your shoulders should touch the floor. Whole upper body relaxed on the floor. Bring your arms over your head. Grab the elbows each other over the head. Pull your elbows down towards the floor. Chin down towards the chest, neck flat on the floor. Lift your chest and stomach up towards the ceiling. Create a perfect human bridge. Eventually, or in the future, bring your knees together, touching each other, but make sure knees never come off the floor. Eyes open, breathing normal. Put your hands on your feet with the help of your elbows. Carefully come up, turn around and relax on your back. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, keep your heels on the floor. Arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms and head together. 
Inhale, breathe in. Quickly sit up. Exhale, breathe in. Grab your big toes. Double jerk. Touch your forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around. Come to the top of the towel. Sit down, Japanese style. Knees together. Separate your feet and sit down between the heels. Hips touching the floor. Heels touching the hips. Make sure heels are touching the hips the whole time. As a beginner, or if your knees or feet hurt, you can open your knees. Put your hands, palms on your toes, thumbs inside, fingers outside. Touch your right elbow down on the floor, then the left, one by one. Touch your head on the floor, then the back of your head. Your shoulders should touch the floor. Whole upper body relaxed on the floor. Bring your arms over your head, grab the elbows each other over the head. Pull your elbows down towards the floor. Chin down towards the chest, neck flat on the floor. Lift your chest and stomach up towards the ceiling. Create a perfect human bridge. Eventually, or in the future, bring your knees together, touching each other, but make sure knees never come off the floor. Eyes open, breathing normal. Put your hands on your feet with the help of your elbows. Carefully come up, turn around and relax on your back. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, keep your heels on the floor. Arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms and head together. Inhale, breathe in, quickly sit up. Exhale, breathe in, grab your big toes, double jerk. Touch your forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, come to the middle of the towel. Half tortoise pose, Adra Kumasana. Sit down Japanese style, kneel down position. Feet flat on the floor, no gap underneath the ankles. Arms over the head sideways, hands palms together, only cross your thumbs. Stretch your arms up towards the ceiling, elbows locked, arms touching with the ears, chin up. Keep your hips touching the heels throughout the posture. Stomach in, exhale breathing and go down. Arms and head together. Touch your forehead on the floor. Little fingers touching the floor. The rest of your arms in the air, elbows locked. Stretch your arms more forward, make sure your shoulders hurt, scapula coming out of the body. Chin away from your chest, stretch forward more, chin forward, heels touching the hips. Eyes open, breathing always normal. Inhale, breathing, and gently come up. Arms and head together. Arms down, side, turn around, lie down on your back, and relax. Shavasana. This posture gives you more relaxation in 30 seconds than 8 hours of sleep. High-speed blood goes to the brain cells, activates the brain. You re-energize, revitalize, reorganize, unused, and overuse brain cells. 93% of the brain cells are sleeping in the cold storage, like the dead meat. You never used it, you never even knew, you have it. And 7%, you keep using it again and again and again. They are abused. You activate, recharge each and every one, and they start functioning, working properly. You don't need sleep anymore. Yoga class is a gas station. It gives you energy. Energies consisted by relaxation. Inhale, breathing, quickly sit up. Exhale, breathing, grab your big toes, double jerk. Touch your forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, second set. Come to the middle of the towel. Kneel down position, knees and feet together. Hands, palms together, cross your thumbs. Stretch your arms, exhale, breathing, and you go down. Hips touching the heels, body on the legs, forehead on the floor. Chin away from your chest, pinkies touching the floor. Elbows locked, eyes open, breathing normal. Forward more, stretch more. Stretch, 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 stretch. Inhale, breathing, come up. Arms and head together. Arms down side, turn around and relax on your back. Flex your feet, keep your heels on the floor. Arms over your head, cross your thumbs. Arms and head together. Inhale, breathing, quickly sit up. Exhale, breathing, grab your big toes, double jerk. Touch your forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, camel pose, Ustrasana. Listen very carefully, word by word. Everybody should do it together, not before, not after. Come to the top of the towel, stand up on your knees. Six inches apart, inside the legs, between the knees and the feet. Get your hands on your hips, fingers towards the floor, thumbs outside. Take a deep breath and push your hips forward towards the mirror. Drop your head back as far as it goes. Go back halfway and stop in the middle. First, only right hand down. Grab the right heel, thumb outside, finger inside. Then the left hand down. Grab the left heel, thumb outside, fingers inside. Full grip with your hands, palms. Please don't lose the grip. Take a deep breath, eyes open, exhale, breathing, and stomach, legs, hips, everything. Push forward as far as possible. Continuously keep pushing. Everybody push, push more, 
everybody push harder. Make sure your back hurts. I want 360 degree angle backward bending for gravitation. Put your hands on your hips, chest up, spine straight, push more forward, inhale breathing and come up. Stop in the middle, turn around, lie down and relax in Savasana. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, keep your heels on the floor. Arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms and head together. Inhale, breathing, quickly sit up. Exhale, breathing, grab your big toes, double jerk. Touch your forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, second set. Come to the top of your mat, eight inches between the knees, still only six inches between the feet. Knees should be a couple of inches wider, second set. First right hand, then left hand down, grab the heels one by one. Hands, palms, grip tight, don't lose the grip. Push more forward, exhale and push. Push, push, push from coccyx to the neck, joints of each and every vertebra and cartilage of the spine, backward bending like a pearl necklace. Put your hands on your hips, chest up, spine straight, push more forward, inhale breathing and come up. Stop in the middle, turn around, lie down, relax in Shavasana. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, keep your heels on the floor. Arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms and head together. Inhale, breathing, quickly sit up. Exhale, breathing, grab your big toes, double jerk. Touch your forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, rabbit pose, sasangasana. Come to the middle of the towel, sit down Japanese style. Knees and feet together. Put the towel on your feet, grab the heels over the towel, thumbs outside, fingers inside. Nice tight grip. Please don't lose the grip. Pull all your heels as hard as possible. Tuck your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach. Exhale, breathing. Slowly go down, front side. Touch your exactly forehead on the knees. Automatically, the top of your head touching the floor. Exhale, breathing. Eyes open and lift your hips up all the way. As high as possible, roll forward like a wheel until your arms, elbows are straight. If there's a gap between your knees and forehead, walk your knees one by one until your knees touching the forehead. Make sure total spine is stretching top to bottom. Neck might hurt a little bit. Throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal. Pull harder, hips up more. Come up, turn around and relax on your back. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, keep your heels on the floor. Arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms and head together. Inhale, breathing, quickly sit up. Exhale, breathing, grab your big toes, double jerk. Touch your forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, second set. Come to the middle of the towel, sit down Japanese style, knees and feet together. Put the towel on your feet, grab the heels over the towel, thumbs outside, fingers inside, nice tight grip. Pull your heels as hard as possible. Tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach. Exhale, breathing, you go down front side. Touch your exactly forehead on the knees. Automatically top of the head touching the floor. Exhale, breathing, eyes open and lift your hips up all the way. As high as possible, roll forward like a wheel until your arms and elbows are straight. Continuously keep pulling. Pulling is the object of stretching. The harder you pull, you can stretch more, create opposite force according to Newton's third law. You should feel your spine stretching from coccyx to the neck. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in, depression of the abdominal wall. Coccyx to the neck, joints of each and every vertebral cartilage of your spine should be opening, stretching, expanding, extension. There should be no gap between the knees and the forehead. Heels together, feet flat on the floor. No gap underneath your ankle. Keep your mouth closed, tongue in sight. Don't move your head, don't turn your head. As a beginner, only you stretch your neck and upper spine. Very difficult to stretch your lower and middle spine. By practice, you have to learn how to stretch your total spine distributed equally the same. The joints of each and every vertebra and cartilage from coccyx to the neck, opening like a pearl necklace. Continuously keep pulling your heels, lift your hips up more, lift your shoulders up towards the ceiling. Bow a little weight on the top of your head, exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in, lower spine supposed to stretch more, hips up, hips up, hips up, and slowly come back up. Vertebra by vertebra, chin up last, turn around and relax on your back.
Toes and heels together, flex your feet, keep your heels on the floor. Arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms and head together. Inhale, breathe in, quickly sit up. Exhale, breathe in, grab your big toes, double jerk. Touch your forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Head to knee stretching pose, Janus Jarasana with Paschimottanasana. Turn around and sit facing the mirror. Right leg out, corner wise. Bend your left leg. Put your left foot so your heel should touch the costume. Create pressure with your left foot sole against the right leg biceps of the thigh muscle. Your two legs should be 90 degree angle like L. Arms over the head, turn to the right. Grab your right foot two inches below the toes, 10 fingers interlock position. Pull your toes as hard as possible. Flex your foot so your heel comes off the floor in the air. Just like rabbit pose, touch your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, touch your exactly forehead on the knee. Forehead should touch the knee. If you can touch your forehead, bend the knee a little bit. You've got to touch your forehead. Bring your elbows down next to your calf muscles. Suck your stomach in. Push your knee down, forehead touching position. Left elbow down more, left shoulder down more. Roll inside to the left. Left knee should stay touching the floor. Roll in, roll in, roll in. Get your head close to your stomach. Push your knee down, change. Left side. Stretch your left leg out cornerwise, bend your right leg, heel touching the costum. Grab the toes, pull your toes. Exactly forehead on the knee. Make sure throw choke. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in. Bend your elbows down, push your knee down with your forehead. Roll inside to the right, roll in. Create maximum pressure to the abdomen and throat. This is not a stretching pose, it is a compression posture. Compression of the pancreas, extension of the kidneys. This is, again, a marriage between the pancreas and kidneys, thyroid and pituitary glands. Change. Paschimottanasana, stretching posture. Both legs forward, lie down on your back. Sit up, please, immediately. Grab your big toes from the top with your index and middle fingers. Pull your toes as hard as possible. Feet together. Look in the mirror. Get your head up, please. Walk your hips back, right and left, right and left, right and left, 10 to 15 times until your both knees lock. No knees. Flex your feet. Heels should come off the floor in the air. Then only you can bend your elbows down. Look forward, your head up, chin up. Inhale, breathing, stretch your body forward from the lower spine. Pull your toes back. Your goal is to touch the forehead to the feet. Come up, turn around, relax on your back. Completely relax, please. Arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms and head together. Inhale, breathe in, quickly sit up. Exhale, breathe in, grab your big toes, double jerk. Touch your forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around and sit facing the mirror. Right leg out, corner wise. Bend your left leg. Put your left foot so your heel should touch the costume. Create pressure with your left foot sole against the right leg biceps of the thigh muscle. Your two legs should be 90 degree angle like L. Arms over the head, turn to the right. Grab your right foot two inches below the toes, 10 fingers interlock position. Pull your toes as hard as possible. Flex your foot so your heel comes off the floor in the air. Just like rabbit pose, touch your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, touch your exactly forehead on the knee. Forehead should touch the knee. If you can touch your forehead, bend the knee a little bit. You've got to touch your forehead. Bring your elbows down next to your calf muscles. Suck your stomach in. Push your knee down, forehead touching position. Left elbow down more, left shoulder down more. Roll inside to the left. Left knee should stay touching the floor. Roll in, roll in, roll in. Get your head close to your stomach. Push your knee down, change. Left side. Stretch your left leg out cornerwise, bend your right leg, heel touching the costume. Grab the toes, pull your toes. Exactly forehead on the knee. Make sure throw choke. Exhale, breathing, suck your stomach in. Bend your elbows down, push your knee down with your forehead. Roll inside to the right, roll in. Create maximum pressure to the abdomen and throat. This is not a stretching pose, it is a compression posture. Compression of the pancreas, extension of the kidneys. This is, again, a marriage between the pancreas and kidneys, thyroid and pituitary glands. Change. Second set, stretching pose. Bring both legs out in front of you. Quickly lay on your back, bring your arms over your head. Sit up immediately and grab your big toes. Don't lose the grip. Pull your toes hard. Walk your hips back at least 10 to 15 times. Lock your knees. Create cramp on tops of both sides. Heels of the floor in the air. Backs of the knees on the floor. No room for light or air between the legs and the floor. Chin up, 
Look in the mirror, bend your elbows and pull harder. Stretch your head forward towards the feet. Chest down on the legs, spine straight. Suck your stomach in, exhale and keep pulling. Continuously keep pulling without interruption, without intermission. Exhale and pull. Touch your forehead to the toes. Change. Come up, turn around and relax on your back. Toes and heels together, flex your feet, keep your heels on the floor. Arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms and head together. Inhale, breathe in, quickly sit up. Exhale, breathe in, grab your big toes, double jerk. Touch your forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, spine twisting pose. Adra Matsandrasana. Turn around and sit facing the left side of the room. Bend your left knee on the floor, left knee facing the left side mirror. Put your right foot exactly over the left knee corner. H-E-E-L, your heels should touch the knee. Foot flat on the floor. Both hips should touch the floor comfortably. To keep your spine perfectly straight, perpendicular, 90 degree angle. Hip touching the left heel. Point your left toes. Bring your left arm over the right knee. Elbow exactly against the knee. Push your knee back with the help of your left elbow. Turn your wrist and grab the left knee with your left hand. Now, look down, make sure your knee, hand and heel, all three things are touching each other at the same spot on the floor. Keep the knee on the floor. Stretch your spine up towards the ceiling, right arm on your back, palms facing out. Try to grab the thigh behind you with your right hand fingertips. For beginners, put your right hand on the floor behind you, fingers facing out and push against the floor to get your spine straight. Chest up, spine up, rib cage open. Look back behind you, Look over the right shoulder, way, way, way back. Chin over the shoulder. Twist your body right side, all the way. Total spine is supposed to twist top to bottom, coccyx to the neck, joints of each and every vertebra and cartilage. Supposed to twist like a pearl necklace. Twist and twist and twist. Last chance, twist, change. Other side. Left side, bend the right knee on the floor, left foot over the right knee corner, right arm up and over the knee. Push the knee back, grab the knee in front. Inhale and stretch your spine up. Look over the left shoulder. Chin over the shoulder. Exhale, turn and twist. Make sure your neck is twisting back. Stretch up and twist. Twist and twist and twist and twist. Keep twisting. Joints of each and every vertebra and cartilage stacked on top of each other. Stretching up and twisting like a pearl necklace. Relax on your back. Arms over your head, cross your thumbs, arms and head together. Inhale, breathing, quickly sit up. Exhale, breathing, grab your big toes, double jerk. Touch your forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around, sit down Japanese style, facing the front mirror. We started with a pranayama breathing exercise, good for the lungs. We end with another breathing exercise, blowing in firm pose. Good for your digestive system, internal organs and abdominal muscles. Blow out by your lips, very strong. Pull your stomach in and out. No inhale, only exhale. Inhale happens automatically. Follow me, everybody. Hands on the knees, arms straight. Lock your elbows. Throughout the entire pose, spine is straight. Shoulders relaxed. Abdominal wall is perfectly relaxed. If you feel dizzy or cramps in the stomach, you're doing good. Swallow a couple of times. Begin, please. That's enough. Second set, a little bit faster. Let's go. Relax on your back, please. Everyone, have a good day.